Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review Episode 192. This is reviewing the 970th episode of the anime, excuse me, which is called Sad News, the opening of the Great Pirate Era. Yes, this is episode that is pretty much the beginning and the end of the flashback stuff for the one arc. Yep, we have roughly three more episodes of this before we finally go back to present day. Yes. So, this episode finished up chapter 266, 60, uh, no, 968 down the last three pages of that chapter, and going through pages 2 through 11 of chapter 969. Now, this episode has a lot of extended sequences in here, just to pad out the runtime. Yeah. So, we have Odin, basically, he's like told, no, don't go, you don't have a plan. It's like, he has a plan. So, he runs across the country, stops, gets close, gets like half of the capital, and then, of course, and he stops and he, and he runs like crazy. Yes, in the manga, this was really quick. In the anime, they just basically extended this, like, oh, let's have Odin basically run across some fields, have people see him, and eventually gets to the capital. And then when he gets to the actual castle itself, in the manga, basically, this scene was told, took place in about three pages. This whole sequence took about, about four or five minutes of screen time. Yeah. They extended the heck out of this particular scene. Of him running all the way to the capital, slicing through Odin, no, Orochi's troops, and eventually get to Orochi himself. And he's about to slice through Orochi, and then he's stopped by a barrier. As in the berry berry fruit. You're probably thinking, wait, isn't Barthamu the captain of Barthar? Isn't it his devil beauty? Well, it's probably the case with the clone clone fruit. This was the previous person who held the fruit prior to Barthamu getting the fruit. Yep, so he's stopped by this guy, this priest, and basically he was he Rochi's like tells him like you can be proxy until I return. He's like, nah, I'm manipulated, but he's make me you yours. Yeah, basically what he did, he basically had the old lady he's working for him. Where she pretty much just basically manipulates everybody to make him shogun permanently. Despite the fact that originally he was told that it was supposed to be temporary, but it's permanent. And then of course he explains kinda what happened with his father. And of course when Kasha apparently he decided to fire poison arrows at people. I don't think this actually happened in the manga. Just, this is something that the anime just added to the thing just to make it a little more interesting. Yeah, Kaido is seen here only in this dragon form. Yep, you don't see Kaido in... Now, here's the thing. Kaido himself technically doesn't really appear in the chapters that were dead for this episode. Yeah, he doesn't physically appear at all. Here, you actually see him, mostly in his dragon form. They're probably saving for his actual uh, human form until, like, a couple of episodes later. So, and then next we see Odin dancing. Yes. Or well, apparently he had to strip down to the underwear and take off his his wooden sandals to start dancing. Why? Even not even the manga about to explain this. Like, oh, he basically is dancing, getting a little money out of it. And apparently they actually showed the extent of this, basically showing, like, he do it, like, during the daytime, just once a week, where even when it rains, snow, windy. In the manga, it's like dot dot dot. It's like one panel. Here, it's like a good like thirty second sequence. And he asks, like, why is this? Because he gets paid as his job. Also, he's looking very scruffy looking. And here's the thing, though, his wife is nowhere to be seen in this episode except the beginning. And then he basically and he comes back one day, probably after going to the capital, at Miyafula by Orochi. And he, then he gets a newspaper from his son, Momoshiki. Where he's informed that Roger has been executed. Yep, the thing that started this actual series, Oda's execution. Which happened 22 years before the events of the series. Well, 22 and a half years, mind you. Though they do explain in the anime, it was actually 24 years before the start of the series. Okay. Even though of that post time skip, they say it's been 25 years this is the execution. And they have the execution they show it, and they actually add a bunch of people here, which I don't ever seen people here before. You see Doe Flamingo, Gekka Moria. You clearly see them. 
We all see Crocodile here. The only know it's him is because he's, because he's smoking a cigar. We also see Smoker is here. Yes, Smoker. I think this guy, we don't see, we see his face. I think this guy might be Dragon. It's possible this guy might be Monkey D. Dragon. And, of course, you get a chance to hear the famous thing of basically, where's your treasure? He's like, you want my treasure? You can have it. Yeah, the other lines basically were slightly changed, but it's still the same scene. And he gets executed, but thank God we didn't have to see him getting stabbed by those gigantic swords like it was previously. Yeah, my guess is the reason why that they did this, because we've already seen the execute. We don't need to see the, uh, again. Mostly the whole point of the sequence is to show that, oh yeah, also, Hawkeye Mihawk is here. Yes, Hawkeye Mihawk is here at the execution. Yeah. When I was hat, mind you, I'm like, where the heck is his hat? At least he's got more. It kind of looks like the way he does normally. So it's Dolph Mingo. It's like Dolph Mingo doesn't have goggles. Yes, Dolph Mingo doesn't have goggles. Since this is basically 24 years for fans of the series, I'd say at this point he's roughly 26. Yes, I definitely say about 26 years old at this point in the series. As in the case of Hawkeye Mihawk, who I think is supposed to be 44 right now, I'd say at this point he is 20. Gekka Moria is probably 24. Yep. As for Smoker, he looks like he's about 10, 12 years old, I'd say. Because I think presumably, pres I think he's presumably in his mid to late 30s. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dragon, don't know how old he is. Yeah, as for in the case of Crocodile, unknown how old he is. Because I don't think it's ever explained in the series. Has, has, has old, um... Has Oda ever been asked how old Crocodile is? I mean, look at him. He's presumably probably in his late 40s. Could be early, early mid 40s, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I highly doubt this is Gang Bench because I highly doubt he'll be here. And plus, the coat is different from Gang Bench Woods. So, my guess is being based on a cigar, it's Crocodile. That's my personal guess. But this was years before a lot of people even became warlords. You know one person who's actually not here, per se? We do see Whitebeard, presumably, in his flashback. Yep, we see him. I'm trying to think. It's like, you see, mo most of the known warlords here, well, ones at present day, I could probably say the only person you don't see here, well, I get why Gene Bay is not here. He's probably in the ocean at this point. Okay. In the case of someone like, oh, I'd say... Bala Hancock, she's probably a little girl. She's probably no. She's probably. I think she maybe still marries Joe at this point. Yes. But in the case of the other ones, well, Edward Reval is probably not even around yet. No, probably no one knows where he is at this point in time. Mm -hmm. Law himself, probably back in his home before he traveled with Mingo. It's possible. I'm just basically guessing exactly what these people are even up to who are considered part of the Seven Warlords. Blackbeard, obviously, is still with, well, Whitebeard at this point in time. Mm hmm. Yep. But this overall was a great episode. And can't wait for next week, which is going to be start at the beginning and the end of the flashback episodes before we get to the present day stuff where things start changing. Yeah, and also with basically getting to chapter. Well, halfway through chapter 1,969 uh, uh, with roughly about six pages left. So, you probably think, okay, so we're presumably about 41 chapters, 42 chapters behind the manga? Yes, i definitely say so. Forty, I think about 41 and a half, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 41 and a half chapters. That's not bad, especially since the next chapter comes out next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're going to keep this up for quite a while. Excuse me. Yeah, they probably keep this up for quite a while. But who knows how much I got that for next week. Because, well, 269 has got six pages left. So, who knows exactly how far they can go with next episode. Mm -hmm. Yep. But yeah, that's it for of you. Next one's going to be Yoshima Princess Half Demon. Yep, that one's going to be next. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye.